those that are spiritual are supposed to restore such a one. That's it. That's the word. Confess your thoughts to one another. Pray for each other. And Mr. You shall be healed. The fervent prayers of the righteous shall obey the life. That's right. You should be able to tell me what you're going through and me not look down on you. Yeah. 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 Let me say, let me pray with you. That's right. Don't get you in here. One day, I may need you to pray for me. Yeah. 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 Turn your nose up. You turn your nose up. Uh-huh. Because you may be next. Uh-huh. You may be next. Oh, preach, preach. You may be next. Oh, you may be next. He gets in a fight. He kills the Egyptian. And after he kills the Egyptian, they found out about it. And he goes on. And he runs to the wilderness. In the wilderness, he got married. Okay. In the wilderness, he's just living life normal. He got a wife. He got kids. Years passed. Come on. He now got a good, he got a job. He's tending his father-in-law's flock. He's just living life. Forty years Moses spent. That's right. That's a lot of years. Uh -huh. He left Egypt at forty. Came back. God on. called him Ooh. to eighty. Great. For my older saints, uh -huh. your calling might start now. Uh -huh. <laughs> You're never too old to do for God. Uh, come on. Then. And so we find Moses in the ordinary wife. Get up, go to work, go home, what's for dinner, babe? <laughs> Eats, goes to bed. Get up, goes to work, goes home, let me feed these kids. Did y'all do y'all homework today? <laughs> what you learn? <laughs> goes to bed. Just ordinary. But never, God never called him to just be ordinary. God called him to be extraordinary. Right. From the moment he hit that wall. Yes, we, we, we got to get up. Got to go to work. Got to go to bed. But God calls you to more than just to work and die. Thank you. He called you to be extraordinary. The sinner does that. So what's the difference between you and the sinner? And God saved you just to get up. <laughs> At least use the job as a platform to save right. people. Mm -hmm. Thank you. At least if you're gonna go to work, tell everybody I'm gonna turn this place out. Thank you, Lord. Oh, oh, what's the difference? Wow. And so it was in the ordinary. Yeah. But God will use the ordinary to prepare you. Because one thing about God, you have to be disciplined. You have to be structured. Yeah. You have to be consistent. Yeah. Thank Can you, you just get up? <laughs> go to work. Go to bed. Because God is looking for consistency. So he's training Moses wow. for the call. He took Moses from the palace and made him a shepherd over his Jethro sheep because that's what Moses really is going to be. A shepherd. Are y'all listening to me? Yeah. But before you can really walk in your calling, you have to be faithful over the next person's calling. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You're not going to jump, get saved, and jump from back there up here. You got to work. That's right. No, no, no. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. You're not going to get saved there and then wind up here. Before God will let you wind up here, he's going to send you back there. Yeah. He said, well, no, just, right. just, just yeah. hand out papers. Yeah. That you don't want too much power yeah. before the novice. That's right. Are, are, are y'all listening? Because yeah. first got to be faithful over a few yeah. things before God can make you all rule over many things. Yeah. Are y'all listening? Are your motives Woo. is wrong? Yeah. It's good. Don't get because it's really all about yeah. service. Yeah. Whether you're serving back Woo. there or you're serving up here, yeah. it's still the same yeah. thing. Right. 
Yes. Are y'all listening to me, brothers and sisters? Amen. It's all about serving God's people. Amen. So David, that's why David said, I don't have to be the king. I would be glad just to be a doorman in the house of the temple. Oh, I'm just glad. I don't have to be the pastor. I'm just glad I'm in the house. You want to preach? Preach easy. I'm just glad I'm in here. Are y'all listening to me? Hallelujah, Jesus. I've never seen God exalt somebody that thought they should be exalted. God will always exalt people to say, Lord, I, I don't know how to do this. Lord, I'm not worthy of this. Lord, I don't know what to do with this. Now, they the one. Why? Because I need you to depend on me and not you. <laughs> you don't need to dig it. Oh, this ain't about you anymore. You don't need to dig it. Oh, no. Wow. And so, Go he's on the flock. Woo! It's just on flock. And he's tending after this man's sheep. Hallelujah. And Moses looks. Yes, Jesus. Yes, <laughs> Jesus. Wow. And he sees a bush on fire. Well, that's not strange. Because he lives in the desert. <laughs> I'm sure bushes kept catch on fire often in the desert. It's hot. If it's hot heat and you dry, if it's hot in the world and you're not anointed, you're going to catch on fire. Usually they fight fire with a fire. If you're going to stop a fire, you got to make a fire. Wow. And so, Moses knows bushes catching on fire all the time. But this is what's interesting about this bush. Uh -huh, come on now. He sees it on it fire, uh -huh. but it's not consumed. That's strange. It's not burning up. Uh -huh. A fire usually consumes stuff. But he said, oh, I've seen bushes on fire before, and you they just burn up. Some of you were that bush. Mm -hmm. All from when you came out the womb, your was on fire. But how do you know God has been with you because you didn't burn up? Burn up. Still here. How do you know God is with you? Your other friends died and you didn't. He's still here, man. You He's wasn't no better. You still here. You still here. Right. Right. Some of your friends is dead and gone. Some of your friends have lost their mind. Some of your friends went to John George. Some of your friends is in prison. But some way, you still here. And y'all listen to me. With your life on fire. But the reason it wasn't consumed, because God was with you. He kept it. He kept it. If there's one thing you should thank God for, it's that I'm still here. I've been through hell, but I'm still here. He tried to kill me, but I'm still here. He tried to make me the pet, but I'm still here. He tried to make me commit suicide, but I'm still here. I'm still standing. Blessed be the God that keeps me. God is the keeper. He kept me. Hallelujah. Did he keep you? He kept me when I was crazy. He kept me when they were shooting. He kept me when I was losing dope. He kept me. Oh, but for what, man? But for what? Come on now. That's why y'all find He's a keeper. Tell us what. Come on now. So Moses. Yeah, she I said, yeah, da, da, da. He sees the bush, uh -huh. but it's not being consumed. Uh -huh. And the Bible says that when God seen that he had Moses' attention, Hallelujah. he spoke. Hallelujah. I, I like how you do it, Pastor Ricky. You say, I'll wait. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because when you're talking, you're supposed to have people's attention. Amen. Praise God. It's, it's, it's disrespectful. This is mm -hmm. glory to God. For me to be talking to you 
So God is say, like Pastor Ricky say, I'll wait on you. Mm -hmm. Wow. He said it to all of us. Oh, I'm just waiting on you to get your attention. Yeah. Wow. It says when the, he saw he had Moses' attention, attention. then he spoke. Then he spoke. God is just using all this stuff to get your attention. Ooh, say it, Lord. Yes, say that again. Do we to get you to see him now? Are you ready now? Oh, you went to that storm. You still not looking at God yet? Oh, your car flipped over. You made it out. You still don't see him yet? Do you hit me now? Come on, now. Do you hit me now? Yeah. Yeah. You still not looking. That's it. That's it. How much do you have to go through to God get your attention? How many miracles do God got to show you until he got to get your attention? Wow. Uh, you he ready? don't keep you. But do you want to keep wandering? Uh, you want to be kept. So Moses, God gave Moses his attention. Wow. He said, Lord, look at him. What did he say? Look at him. <laughs> what did he say, bro? He was made out of sin. He said, I beat. Look at them. Wow. Okay. I didn't know how I was going to make it. Yeah. Mm. I didn't know how that bill was going to be paid. Wow. Come on, Look come on. Mm. I thought they was going to be. Hey. Lord, if I had the last day, somebody put some money in my hand. Look at here. Look at here. Watch God do what he say he's going to do. Ooh. He's doing all that to get your attention. Glory, glory. glory. And when he got Moses' attention, he said, Moses! <coughs> Moses. Oh, yeah. Call him twice. Yeah. Let all things be established. <laughs> Out of the mouth of two or three witnesses. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How God established, he don't really need you to agree because he's God. He said, <laughs> he'll just say it twice yeah. himself. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Moses! That's why some of you have said, this person said this, I got to call it on my knife, and then God will send somebody else to say that, you got to call it on your knife, because God is trying to let you know, I have established something with you. Are you listening? Yes. Are you listening? Yes. Are y'all listening? Yes. Moses! Moses! I'm calling you. I'm calling you by name. Yeah. By name. You should put your name in the place of Moses. Oh my God. That's God calling you. I have established a covenant with you. I'm in your life to establish it. Yes. And y'all listen to me. Anchor you. Anchor oh. you. And so, Moses heard the calling. But before God could go on, uh-huh. With the conversation? Uh-huh. He told him, take your shoes off. Oh, yeah. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. For the ground you now stand on. Come on now. Because I'm there. Because I'm there. Come on, you better. Because I'm there. Oh, he said, I'm It's here. now holy ground. Yeah. I'm here. I know you've been on this ground before. I'm going to preach you the truth. The but this time it's different. I'm here. Because I'm, here. I'm not here on this mountain. On you led these sheep to this mountain before, and it wasn't holy. What? But what makes it holy what? now? Because my presence is here. Moses, take off your shoes. Put your name there. Put your name there. Mm. Take off something. Mm. They didn't have streets. You better recognize. They didn't have cobblestone <laughs> streets. This is, everything was dirt. That's good. That's good. God told him to put the dirt on the dirt. Hey. Y'all get that yeah, 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 yeah. No, before you can work for me, you got to understand, you got to put your dirt on the dirt because you dirty and I'm different. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. You got to look at, no, no, let's look at this thing right. I'm God and you, you. That's it. That's it. My ways are not like your ways. Jesus. My thoughts are not like your thoughts. You can't come to me thinking you somebody. Whoa. You are dirt. Put the dirt on the dirt. Let's establish some proof over here. Yeah. Come on, who sir. Is who? who is who? Who is who in this who? situation? Yeah. No, you, are, you are that very thing that you're walking on. I ain't that. Oh, yes. I'm, I'm not your mama. I'm not your daddy. I'm not 